Hello, my wonderful art students. How are you this week? Um, what we're gonna do today is we are going to learn a little bit about Peter Pan, and you guys are gonna create your own Peter Pan drawing where you get to make yourself fly. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So what I want you guys to do is you're gonna pause this video, and then I want you to go watch my little song from Peter Pan, um, and then I want you to go ride the Peter Pan ride and then come back to the video and you're gonna see what kind of cool thing we're gonna do. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Alright guys, so today you guys are going to create your own picture and imagine what it would look like if you were flying over something that you can't even dream of, of flying over. Well obviously none of us can fly really, but um, so in Peter Pan the ride and on Peter Pan in the movie, Wendy and Peter and the boys got to fly over the city of London and then they flew to Neverland. So I want you guys to create a drawing of something that you would like to fly over. So what I did was I did some mountains and blue sky and a sun, um, but you guys can create anything you can think of that you would want to fly over if you could fly. And then I'm gonna show you how to draw yourself so it looks like you're flying. So here we go. All right guys, so since we're gonna cut um, the picture out uh, of yourself flying, um, you can turn your paper and things like that because I want you to draw your background. The background would be where you're flying, okay? So the mountains and things like that, that's called the background, okay? So whatever you're gonna be flying over, that's gonna be a background and you're gonna do that on a separate piece of paper. Then you're gonna draw yourself on another piece of paper and cut it out, okay? So what I want you to do is get your piece of paper and you're gonna start off by drawing an oval and that's gonna represent your head. Okay, and around your oval, I want you to draw the letter U. Now while you're drawing, I want you to try and draw lightly because later on you're gonna go through and erase lines that you don't need. And if you press with your pencil really hard, it'll be harder to erase, okay? So after you get your letter U drawn, what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw two lines that go in towards the head and then down until it touches the head. This is gonna be like your arms. I'll show you my little person again. See how her, uh, her arms come out? It looks like she's got her arms out flying, okay? So that's gonna be the start of your arms, okay? Now, under this, what I want you to do is you're going to draw almost a square, maybe a little longer than a square, and it's under the letter U. Okay, then after you get your square shape, then I want you to draw a line that goes down this way. I'm angling it slightly outward. See how that's slightly angled? And then go over to this side and do another line slightly angled. This is gonna be your legs. And then I want you to do an upside down letter V in the middle. This is your legs, okay? Then you can go ahead and complete the lines down here to show where your legs are, okay? So now we've got our arms, our body, and our legs, and now we're gonna do little ovals. They're not all the way ovals, they're kind of half ovals for your feet, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the top of my uh, arms and put a little oval for hands. It's a half oval again. Okay, and those are going to be the hands. I'm going to go ahead and add a little upside down J here and a little upside down J there to make it look like thumbs. Okay, now at this point, I want you to go back and I want you to erase this line for the bottom part of the U. That. So this 
will all be one shape. Okay, now we're gonna go back to my little girl again. You can see very tiny, I think, I'm trying to show you. I put a little tiny nose at the top of her head. So it looks like as she's flying, she's looking forward. So I want you to go to the top of the little oval and put a little tiny bump so it looks like a nose. Now at this point, you can decide if your person is a boy or girl. Um, you don't have to do, like if you're a boy, you don't have to do a boy. And if you're a girl, you don't have to do a girl. You might be doing a bunch of them because you could do lots of these. Because remember in Peter Pan, there was a bunch of them flying. So you could do lots of characters, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and give my character long hair because I'm gonna make mine a girl again. So I'm just going to draw some hair back here. And I just did some lines with some zigzags to make it look like hair. And if you want to color it, you can go back now and add color to the hair, okay? Um, and then you can decide if you want black hair or blonde hair or blue hair, whatever hair you want. Doesn't matter to me. Okay, and then, so see, my little girl was wearing a pink shirt and a green skirt. So I'm gonna go back. I want this one to wear a skirt again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the bottom of this square area and I'll do two angled lines and cross it right here so it'll look like a skirt. So then I can go back and erase this and then I would add color to my shirt up here and my skirt and then I added color for my legs and I put little shoes or socks on, okay? So to put the socks or shoes on, you can erase this little line and just kind of add a little curve here and it looks like socks. But if you wanna wear pants, you can leave that line on and what you can do is color this a color, okay? So you can kind of decide what your little person is wearing and then you're gonna get your little character all colored. So this one's all colored. And then you're gonna carefully cut out your little person. And then you will put your person on your background that you drew. The other cool thing you can do is if you have magazines at home, you can find cool pictures of um, buildings and things like that and use a magazine picture and it'll look like you're flying over a, a city. Think about all of the things that you could be flying over. I want you to be creative with this, and then I want you guys to show me on the Google Classroom. All right, guys, so now I showed you a quick and easy way that you can draw yourselves um, so it looks like you're flying over all kinds of fun um, environments. You can fly over cities. You can fly over the beach. I love the beach, so that would be cool. So just think of all of the cool things that you could fly over if you were with Peter Pan. Um, and you had fairy dust. That would be really cool. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. Post it on the Google Classroom, and I will see you soon. Love you. Bye.